Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be making a video about uh, wild cards for DOS or batch commands. So, let's see. So when I press DIR here, there's a list of things in this directory, the contents in this directory. But let's say I wanted to like um, find out only the files that have C in it. Right, so I press D I R C asterisk, and I would get all the files that are start with the letter C. So that would be cap down to comp five. So those are everything in this directory with C on it. Let's say I want to refine the search, and I wanted to find the files that I have C A in it. So D I R C A question mark asterisk. So the files that have C A on it would be cap one and cap two in this directory, and there are also two files that have cat C A in it, like cat.txt and catcher.txt so list everything in the directory including the files and the folders that have CA in it so let's say I wanted to do and the question mark it thing is um, it enables you to um, so let's say I wanted to find the word camp D I R C A question mark camp Let's let, let me make a directory M K D I R carp M K D I R cat cart Okay, um, I'll put D I R C A question mark question mark that asterisk so everything that has C A. Question mark, question mark, we carp, car, and cart. Okay. Let's say I want to do something different. C A question mark T asterisk. So the only um, file that has C A question mark. P would be carp. Let's say I wanted to make I want to make another directory called camp and I want to do that again. T I R C A question mark P asterisk. So the only files in this directory that have C A question mark P would be camp and carp. Make another one. M K D I R chop. Let's try something else. D I R C question mark question mark P asterisk. So everything in this directory that have C question mark question mark P would be camp carp chop comp. One to comp five. Okay, now you got that. This helps you find files that are structured like that, like C question mark question mark P. So we did that. So now 
I want to do something else. So let's say I want to find, see what's in this directory. I want to find D I R H E asterisk dot asterisk. <clears throat> so everything in this directory that has H E starting with H E is um, help, help one, help two. I'm going to make another directory M K D I R. Let's put hemp. So D I R H E asterisk dot asterisk. So we got help, help one, help two, hemp. Okay. So we can kind of like refine our searches by using the wildcard function. And let's say I only want to find files that are dot txt files. And put D I R asterisk dot txt so these are all the files in this folder that have dot txt so we can use this command for copying deleting and stuff like that as well so let's say I want to delete all the files that are txts and I would put delete Delete asterisk dot txt. Delete asterisk. So now I'm going to press dir. So right now you you don't see any files in this folder that have txt extension on it because they've all been deleted. So you could you, uh, write a batch script that deletes, let's say you want to delete .pdf files, you would do the same thing, delete asterisk .pdf, but there are no PDF files here, so we couldn't find any, but if there were, then you can delete that as well. So I'm going to do something different now. I'm going to create some text files. Call it text one. Okay. Text two. Okay, that's good. So now I want to rename all the .txt files to, let's say, PDF files. So I would simply type in rename asterisk. Well, let's see what's in here. I have three text files in here, and I want to convert them all to PDF files. So rename um, asterisk dot txt to asterisk dot pdf okay, as you can see all the files in this folder have been converted from text dot text files to dot pf pdf files so now I want to convert the pdf files back into text files rename asterisk.pdf to asterisk.txt and as you can see that I converted all the text files .txt files to I mean .pdf files to .txt files but that's how you do that So I want to create more files here.
Okay, now I want to delete specific files. So I want to delete txt files like these files with the extension txt. So I'll press delete tex. Of the text, asterisk dot txt. And this would delete all the files that have txt. Starts with txt dot, and they are extension txt files. So let's see if they're gone. But as you can see, there are no txt files with the extension tech txt so they're all gone okay now the last thing I want to show you is the asterisk dot asterisk command asterisk dot asterisk so I'm gonna go into this folder and delete all these files in it Okay, I'm going to do that right now. So I have these three files in it. So, so delete asterisk dot asterisk. This will delete everything in that folder. And they always ask you, are you sure? Yes. Now, as you can see, there isn't anything in this folder. So. You could use uh, the asterisk is kind of like the wild card symbol command, but if you put asterisk dot asterisk, this tells you to delete everything in there. That's all it is. But when you were typing in commands like asterisk dot p t x t, you're telling it to be specific. But if you put another asterisk in there, it's just it's for everything. Okay, that's and I'll demonstrate that with the dir command. Dir asterisk dot asterisk. So it shows everything in the directory. And you could do the same by just pressing dir. So you can dir, let's say C question mark and P Oh, I forgot something. Question mark MP and asterisk. So everything in this folder with C question mark MP will show up, showed up there. And if I put like, and this is for everything. That's all there is to it. Okay, thanks for watching my Ace 1000KS1975 signing out.